He was 11 years old. He was 8 feet 6 inches tall. He could destroy anything. When he walked, you could feel thunder in the air. When he belched, windows broke. When he smiled, women and small children ran. When he laughed, birds flew south. God help the first man who felt his breath upon his breast. For his flesh, his flesh burned in blue sparks. He sizzled on the sidewalk. And then our boy Garth stepped on him making a sputtery mess on the sidewalk. Started thinking about the sand again. He couldn't find a sandbox anywhere. They'd all been torn up. Everyone was afraid of creating their own garth. Garth spent the rest of his life striding around town, shaking the earth, breaking the windows, laughing, smiling. He'd walk into the corner grocery store and grab a cheese whiz and some crackers. Well, he'd grab some more, he'd grab some more, and he'd just sit down and eat them. Maybe that's why he died at age 13, when he'd reached the enormous size of 14 feet, 11 inches tall. feet four inches wide. He rolled over. He belched an incredible stinking belch that has yet to be thoroughly fumigated away. fire department gathered up all the dynamite they could find and blew a big hole in the ground to bury him in. They got him buried all right, but the dogs and vultures and seagulls all started digging him up and started eating him. Then they'd come back to town and shit him all back out again. It's a big problem. You know, the biggest difference between a seagull and a stockbroker is a seagull can still make a deposit on a BMW. 